Good morning. On a little bit of a pre-workout walk here in Pennsylvania today. So, uh, West Middlesex actually. And, uh, I hadn't done a video in a little while because I was at an impasse. So I thought I'd go ahead and talk about this. And it's such a nice day out, I decided I'd go and walk outside. So, I've been having a struggle. Uh, as you know, I had a problem with half of the people I was watching fitness because they couldn't relate to them. And I was sure they couldn't relate to me, you know. And they all got very good advice. A little swampy here. And they know what they're talking about with fitness, but there was an element missing. So, I wanted to do something for people like me so you could have at least somebody who, yeah, he, okay, okay, he's done it and he's, you know, looked at this and kind of gets it and it kind of helps, you know, to feel like you're not the only one out there. And uh, it's, it's hard, you know, like Simland. It obviously, never had a problem with food, never had a problem with fitness, uber goober healthy, you know, and I'm glad for that. And I like all the information, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's depressing to realize that I did it all wrong. And it's good to know you're not alone. And I watched some of my videos and I said, you know, I get it, but I'm missing something. There's something missing. But I got a lot going on and, you know, we'll just have to go with the flow, as you could say, you know, and fix this other things. Then it dawned on me, that's the problem. If you didn't get out of health and overweight, because you let things go and you got sloppy with with your health you didn't just get sloppy with your health you got sloppy with life everything and you didn't just wake up one day like I say with you know people sick around you and people you know maybe some deaths or maybe some something didn't just scare you into fitness because it did but it also made you realize get sloppy with everything it's not just health you know it's it's life it's your finances it's your job it's your whatever you get sloppy with everything it's not just one thing and it's the big elephant in the room none of us want to talk about because none of us want to admit to it all right somebody has to you don't have to admit to it to your friends but it is important to understand that you know you got 30, 40 things going on. You're fitting fitness in here. Now, some of these supposed experts will tell you, don't try to do everything at once. Well, hey, I can't ignore the fact that I got sloppy with my budget and I got sloppy with my money because that's, that's important. I can't ignore I got sloppy with my body. That's what got me here. Without the money, you know, without the health, it, it gets, they're so hand in hand, I have to address both at the same time. I can't ignore it like I was. You know, and also you woke up and you said, okay, and for me, I gotta quit smoking. What's the point of getting healthy if I'm gonna kill myself with lung cancer? You know, and you fight, fought that. And you are also fighting on a whole bunch of different fronts that, uh, you're not going to admit to other people. You're not going to say, hey, yeah, you know, I screwed up my finances. You're not going to tell people that. You're not going to tell people, you know, oh, you know, I haven't, I haven't been cleaning the house. I don't sleep worth a darn. I haven't been brushing my teeth worth a darn. Whatever it may be. But you have to admit that, eh, I'm in a little sloppy with fitness. You know why? Because people can see it. Um, you know, everyone knows when you're physically fat no one knows when you have been feeding at the debt trough and you've gotten financially fat and I'm not talking about the kind where you got lots of money in the bank I'm talking about the kind where your arteries are getting choked off because there ain't no money in the bank and you know everything's on debt and that was that's kind of you know when we started started this you know we had a bit more debt than it just it happened you know not paying attention just but you know how? You know how it happened. It didn't just happen. You got sloppy. And you started eating out at restaurants. That's how you got fat in the first place. And how your finances got bad in the, in the first place. Because you started doing things that hurt both. Smoking for me. Smoking for Patrick. You know, uh, you might, might be drinking. I don't know. 
you got 40 things going on your list and you can't ignore any of them you gotta do all of them and you gotta do all of them at the same time and there's where the next problem comes in and I hate to say it reality is is for the vast majority of us we're gonna fail something and I recently failed with smoking uh, and smoked and I quit again but when I failed at smoking I was ready to give up on everything else because one failure I'll forget just you know screw the whole thing let's just let it all go well that's kind of dumb you know just because you fail at this one one thing doesn't mean it's time to give up on everything I have saying that you know about fitness and and I realized my own words is yeah you fail on the diet one week get back up on the horse it, it's not talked about the big elephant in the room and the, the, the quote unquote fitness experts forget to tell you is life is going on at the same time and you're gonna fail parts of life that's it's just reality you know and I like the way Arnold puts it a loser isn't someone who fails a loser is someone who fails and doesn't get back up and try again you know we're, we're all gonna fail at stuff and you know as you try to get your finances back on track and and you're not just wanting to eat healthier get healthier you know in my case I say I gotta eat healthier just to live better even if it's not about losing weight I have to live better I feel something on my legs um because I can and it's a good thing to do and you know it's funny because it's gonna be a whole bunch of billion things at once you know, I'm going to sleep better, and I watch videos on sleeping, and I'm changing my sleeping pattern, and, you know, yeah, yeah, I started using uh, Propecia because I started to thin in the hair. Like, uh, you you tackle a whole bunch of things all at once, and you're going to fail at some of them, but you can't give up. You can't give up on everything because you went back to smoking. You can't give up on everything because one aspect's too hard. Or you can't work out the budget so you just give up on you know you just go back to smoking and drinking and eating McDonald's I I'd like to say you know I'll, I know some of the advice because I've, I've watched thousands and thousands of videos I've been researching all sorts of things from fitness to sleep to you know every kind of thing you can and I think it's important and like I said, it's important to use what works for you. Intermittent fasting. There's some controversy over there. It's as great as it is and autophagy is as great as it is. But it's an easy thing for me to work into my life. Easy. It's so simple. It's a no-brainer. You know, uh, I spent some time learning about sleep schedules. So, you know, and I, I heard, funny enough, Arnold, sleep faster. So I'm like, well, is that possible? Can you do it? But then there's a billion fitness people who are like, oh, no, you have to sleep like 1,800 hours or else you won't recover. Well, I have to balance that with reality. Reality is, is I'm not getting a six-pack. The reality is, is I'm not going to be in a physique contest. The reality is, is I got some stuff I have to take care of. I need to be healthy. And I need to be realistic with what makes me happy. Realistically, I'm happy when I'm thinner because things don't hurt. Because I'll live longer. Because... I'll be there for my husband because I'll be there and take care of my dogs and realistically I'm okay with not being perfect so therefore hey six hours sleep is adequate it gives me time to do things I need to and to make the whole thing work because I have to devote my time you know I'm not just busy with work I don't just work a 70 hour week I still have to you know eight acres of lawn to take care of on 49 acres of I don't deal with anything with the other thing else and the horses the dogs the house and you know Patrick's uh, you know make sure his health is good and and you know deal with the finances and the work and and many of you have kids and everything else so yeah this can't be the only thing and you have to set the realistic goal which comes into that means that you have to deal with realistic things but I'd love to spend hours and hours and hours at the gym and define this and define that. And I've kind of gotten to, you know, I really enjoy 
doing, you know, lifting the, the dumbbells and doing the compound lifts. And I pretty much, I hate hit, kind of. So I've kind of moved away from that. And hey, I'm on a path that's going to find me uh, healthy. It's not going to make a perfect physique. And I'm okay with that. Maybe I'll hit a perfect physique because I have genetics. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for it. Because I got too many other things going on. And I got to get my life together. That's the big elephant in the room is. You didn't get this way for some of us. Because you had your shit together. No, you got this way because you had everything go. And it just happened that that way. Now for some people, it's going to be a different story. Maybe you got your stuff together, but you're heavy young. And this has been a battle your whole life. Well, that's different. Because it's a battle you can focus on. But, you know, most of us, uh, even, even at that, you probably still got some things you're worried about. You probably still have some bad habits. We all do. And that's the thing that uh, kind of gets missed in this, this whole, let's, uh, let's make this easy, these steps, and let's buy my product and everything else. I forget to tell you, hey, life is in the way. Hey, maybe I should start talking about that because that's as important as getting fit, you know. Making sure you're going to your doctor, making sure you have a king for your doc with your doctor, and you're making sure that you get your budget right. Because what's the point? You can't afford the food because you got things messed up. And of course, there's exercise. And now, look, I I really like debunking some of these people who want to sell you stuff because I hate scam artists and I hate people who. Sorry, a little squirrel scared the heck out of me. I hate people who make things more complicated than they need to be. Because things, things are already too complicated for me. I got too much going on. I need it simple. Because the more complicated I make it, the more likely I am to fail. So, anyways. So, I'm going to change my direction a little. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have suggestions or comments or questions down below, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. Keep rolling.